Welcome to the Armenia campaign for Davidiet in Peril 1.2.5. In the last part, Parthia gave us this region here. And to be completely honest, I'm not exactly too sure what we're going to be doing with it. But it's given me a small income. I think I'm just going to leave it out here. If somebody comes along and captures it or it goes into rebellion, well, we'll just see what we can do about it. But of course, the main action was over here. Well, we're playing a little bit of maneuvering with the Pokemon armies here. Um, looks like Pontus has come in here. The trouble is there's an army here. So I think what we're going to do is just bring this army forward for the moment. And what I've been looking at is this area here. This army here that can come in. My instinct is to come in here with this army as a and do a night attack on here. Let me just have a quick look. I think it's a garrison here. 18. Yeah, I mean it's it isn't particularly that good. If we do a night attack here, we take away the Sardis last settlement. Then if we bring these armies through, that should drive off Pergamon and probably drive them down this way. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with that. So we're going to come in here. We take this settlement for you, my lord. I mean, I could fight this with both armies, but I think what we're going to do is go for a night attack, take this out, and then the other army can come through and attack. What's the auto result? 73%. No, we're going to fight this. The enemy sallies out to fight on the field. They're dead. Because this is where the artillery really comes into its own now. Nice and dry start deployment. And I have a fairly familiar oops, front line. There's a rock there. We can use this actually. You come over here. I think, I think what we can do is run this front line. Maybe make it a little bit wider. Nope. Just run you in onto this rock. Actually, just push you right forward to there. Put the artillery behind. We are at your command. You can cover that flank. Sword. We have our sword units here, supported by heavy archers. I didn't check to see whether they actually had any cab. Never mind. I think we'll leave the swordsman there. You out on. Your job is going to be to that flank there. Of course, this is a siege army, so I, th I think we'll keep all the cab together and we'll have you just in the centre for the moment. Okay. Now, what should happen is that. Because we've got the artillery, they will start to come in and attack us. Right, they've got one cav unit, but I guess. We've got here light, very heavy planets. Actually, I'm not going to waste the on that. You just keep pounding there. Right, it looks like they're showing a little bit of bias towards this side, which is probably. The archers. The 
counterfeits out that side. Here comes the heavy melee. I mean, their cab is already pretty badly damaged. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Right, time to. You in so you can fire on you come out that way one of our units has used all its ammunition and the generals on this side First things first, let's clear, actually. Forward. You. The archers. the archers this way. The archers. General out this way. They put turn their backs on us. You. Start to move forward. You start to fire into the center. The archers. You in circle. Yep, our general will be fine. Swordsman, this way. You just keep hitting these. Where are you? You. You've done your job, you pull away. You pull away. You keep the threat real on this side. You come over this side. Start to get the heavy troops, heavy mob in. Artillery, you are probably killing more of my own troops, so you pull away. Cell swords, time you got in on the action. You in on these. Actually, no. You come this way. There's my general. Got them engaged. Let's break those. Shot cab in answers break off. You come that way. 
You in that side. Okay, we got the unit breaking this way. Spearman. Answers. Where's my general? You over this way. You charge into this flank here. Yeah. But these are citizen militia, so they shouldn't stand for that long. Right, you pull away. There's a unit here. Let's fight. Cab. Answers pull away. Guys are actually standing a lot tougher than I thought they'd do. And you go, an uphill charge, end battle. We lost 187, 11 to friendly fire. And I think that worked pretty effectively. A couple of my shield units got beat up. I've got a feeling I'm going to want to replace these. I'd probably like to replace them with the the heavy melee troops or s some other unit. <coughs> Is this? <coughs> yeah. I mean, this is a siege army, and it does need to be able to take the fight to the enemy. And that takes down Sardis here. Of course, we're going to occupy. Ready for battle. They've been driven away. And what we're going to do is come through and hit you. Oh, we're not going to chase him. What I want to do is pull this army back this way behind. And bring this army in behind as well. Because what Pergamon will probably try and do is come round and drive one of these armies off. But hopefully that will be okay. And what we want is you now to start coming down this way. See what Pokemon's got down here. So Pokemon's exposed. If we can take down these two armies here, we'll do quite well. I think we'll keep the garrison for the moment. We've got no money for that. And probably knock back down. Um, let's see what we've got: Rhodes, Ephesus, and Pergamon. Um, have a look on this side. I got military capability yeah here yes I do because eventually I would probably take down the military buildings here to in order to be able to make this a bit more effective okay let's just I do that and then take that up we do need to drive the culture a bit more here yes we'll take the culture up there so we're just going to go for an end turn. Okay, sun comes of age. Uh, was it Varajan? Uh, increase in rank general. Hidden agent exposed. Mission su successful. Control 25 settlements. Either by direct ownership or through satrapies and military allies. Objective issue via Victus. Subjugate 13 different factions by making them your satrapies. Uh, okay. 
quote of ancient population in Mesopotamia, war declared between Pontus and the Propoponian city states. I'm very huh. destroyed Sarkozy. Pontus. Okay, they flushed out Pontus. Now the Pokemon went that way. Oh, where's my second agent? You're there. How may I set you? are there. What I want is this agent coming down here. Because I want to know where Pokemon's got to. As you command. There they are. I wait with Bart. Okay, I'm just waiting down here. There is more I could do. Of course, uh, Sardis have come here. This is a full stack army. We fought for battle. Question on the is, move, my lord. At your command. I get you we in close enough. Make haste, men. We fight. What's the auto result going to be on this? I'm going to take it with 69 percent. Okay, we're going to take that because I want to kill this army off completely, and it's not going to. Don't believe it, a couple of them survived. Okay. You have further orders? Ready for right, orders. I'm gonna take this army back over here. On the move, my lord. You're gonna have my to lord. come down here. And... Kill the coward. Yeah, I know we're gonna upset them, but I I need to get rid of Sardis, so. <laughs> and down you go. Uh, a bit more cash from them. I mean, they're going to be history fairly soon in a minute anyway. What does the Adrassians think of us? Uh, they're unfriendly, but um, I'm not too upset about that because we'll most likely have to go to war on them. Ready for battle. Um, for honor and great glory! Kill the coward! Okay, we're 86%. Wow. I'm going to fight this. I'm not going to take that level of casualties. So. Wow. Ah. Uh, this may not be such a good idea. You, I don't... Re well, we can put them in the battle, because I am thinking about replacing them, so... This is going to be a, a bit of a tricky deployment. Now, I think what we're going to do this time is... I think I concentrated too many for my stronger units on one side of the map. So, heavy archers, you can come up here. You can just, I think you can just wait behind there. And again, we're just going to keep the general and the cav all together. And what we're going to do is try and push this front line up here. See if we can get this ridge line. Uh, heavy archers come up behind. Um, just gonna speed up a little bit. <laughs> okay, they've literally. Um. Mess that up a little bit, but one of our units has used all its ammunition. Cav. Oh, 
Shades and swords. You push down through here. I don't think the artillery will be able to hit them, but we'll give them a go. You. You're gonna have to come that side of the rocks. Cavalry round the back. And this, <laughs> I thought I had the terrain advantage, but I hadn't. Didn't have it. The artillery is going to be too dangerous. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Around the here. You. You start to pull the fire in on those. You. Start to pull fire in on. Missile cab. Even get you a little bit of an advantage of height. Yeah. It's a very real risk. I could probably kill you guys. Have done enough damage. You pull away as well. We have to do this with infantry. Yeah, probably for my own missile troops. Keep these guys engaged. Those and swords. Oops, no. Oh, don't do this to me. Just engage, pull away. over here you come in here um, that's a chart through charge but how we going here Right, these, these guys are breaking. If we break these, this opens these up for... Uh... Okay. Go on, break, 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 break. Right, they've gone. General, pull away. General, you pull away, and then we can bring send the cataphracts in on this unit. On general, in. Okay. Whoops! It's the camera. General out. Get the next. Yeah. Nice downhill charge again. Right, these are crumbling. Okay. 
in battle. I mean, probably lost a few more men than I thought I was going to do. But more importantly, I didn't get really bad damage on my elite units. So they should recover quite quickly, in theory. And that should be the end of Sardis. Okay, we're gonna. Yep, back to Sardis is gone. Right. What I need to do is. I'm gonna pull you back behind the settlement out here. And we certainly want a temple in here and uh, get. I think this will eventually be a trade town, so there's no point. So I think we'll go for commerce here. Now Sardis is finished off. Kind of inclined. I mean, Pokemon can't really get back to us, so we're okay. Got 16,000 to spend. Let's have a look here. Ready for battle. Yeah, um, I think we're gonna merge you up, get rid of you. I think we just need better quality troops in this army. And again, I think we're gonna get some chosen swordsmen to replace that. Right. You are one of the new generals, so. Banditry. Morale. I don't really want to give you more gravitas. But I think we'll give you morale. Not here. Income movement. Yeah, I like that. Although that's plus twenty percent battle captives. Let's see what else we got. Swarm bodyguard. Province three percent chance. I think maybe we'll, we'll give this army a little bit more morale from the general. Right, let's see, we've got a bit of cash to spend, so let's just have a look and see what we can improve overall. Our food is okay, but actually this is still untacked. Well, that's going to increase my income, but we need more food. Oops. Um, yeah, the public order here is good, so I think if we push up that, and I mean, we've got three sets of food in Syria here. Wow. Um, still want to keep this for when we expand this way. This will give me seven food, 563. Well, any other major capitals that I can upgrade to. That's going to give me 563 subsistence. Nate 8, 1000. We really need an allied capital here. That's going to. I think an allied capital here would be quite useful. That's probably going to take all my money, but I think it'd be worth it in the long term. Just curious about that recruitment. What can I recruit here? You can get Persian cavalry. 104 armor. Wow. This, this good cavalry charge can break almost ardent enemies. 90 charge bonus, melee attack. That's pretty heavy cavalry, actually. I mean, they're fairly expensive as well, so I wouldn't, wouldn't want to buy one just yet, but... And we've got Armenian pikemen here. So we can go back into patrol. And hopefully, am I taking out Pontus and Sardis? These guys are still unhappy. Bigot, yeah. And of course, with a bigot, it's because we don't have our cult dominant culture, so we do need to reinforce that. You're an ethnic fan, you're in trapezoids. Ready for battle. 
Yeah, I think I'm going to need to bring these guys in more towards the front line. I think what we're going to do is come here and we're going to replace you with a member of the family. And these are all relatively new, so I'll hire you in here. Give you the armor and just have a quick look at your details. Yep. You need to get married as well. How old are you? I'll have a look at you in a minute. Authority. I want something that's going to give me gravitas. Yes. I'm going to really push up the anything here that's going to give enhanced gravitas for the family. Yep, two gravitas. No chance of wounding, mostly hiring costs. Nope. Cunning. I think we'll give you some cunning. And yeah, you need to get a bit of standing so you can get married. Anyone else here? Okay, we got a wife over here that's doing nothing, so you need to get. I think we'll send you to Persh, per Path here again. If they give us another settlement. <laughs> right, we've, I think we've blown all our cash on this part. So what we're gonna do. I think before we push on, let's, let's save a bit of cash here. This army needs to fall back and we need to replace these and get a stronger front line. So we're just going to go for an end turn. We've still got unassigned skills. Uh, oh. Kind of starting to think maybe this general needs to become a bit more economically orientated now. I certainly would like the. Actually, where is my faction leader? Let's see. Where are you? Where, where are you? My lord. You're actually down here. Ready for orders. Kind of half thinking maybe it's time he retired and became like a, a defending general, so maybe over here. Um, yeah, I think what we're going to do is replace you with another member of the family. Um, no, I think we're just going to leave him here. So we'll just go for the intern. Increase in rank sham and consequential troop morale penalty. Thank you. I'm not doing very much there, Koran. Population surplus, Marda. So, you return back. It's this guy in it, Koran, he's back in Tushba. He's a populist. Mm, looks like Pergamon has come here. He's calling for a fight. Ready for battle. My lord. You got here. You I want to take you can oh, take over move, this border. Lord. We fight for you, my you lord. You come back to about Burn. here. And you come in. Make haste, men. Now we could come in to on. My lord. I think what we're going to do is. Who are you? You're Samus. Us. Correct. You're Samus. You're minus 10 now. You're upset. Why are these guys always upset with me? You're a pacifist. 
wins battle, xenophile, promoted character. It's a patriot. So what's that shit? Yeah, so we've got two enemy armies in our region at the moment. Okay. We need to get rid of these. Ready for battle. Uh, question is, can you could you take this army here with all these Pokemon hoplites? To me, my inclination is that it's more of a, an artillery type Ready army that I want to. We fight for you, my lord. Um, I think what we're going to do is put Karan Karan Ready in this orders. army. Okay, we're just gonna have to level up our general. Ah. Um, okay, yeah, we've actually got something missing from there. Just gonna level you up. You're gonna be an agriculturalist. What we're gonna do is make you into that and double it up. And then what we're gonna do is replace you with Koran, Karen, Koran. Um, At your command. So we've got one from that family, one from this family, one from this family. We've got a pretty good mixed bag and what we can do is bring our faction leader in over here. So, okay. I think we can afford to wait one turn before we push bash in on the... Uh, I'm going to move you forward a little bit because you might be able to get in with a support with the armies here. So we've got a little bit of cash to spend. You're building up. Let's just go through again. Actually, let's go back to here. Characters. Where are you? You're now maxed out. Oh, no, it's this one, isn't it? You're not doing very well. Everyone else, most people hate me. You you go to Raba. <laughs> right back to yeah. yeah, you've got no income, so we might as well just untax you for the moment. Waste of time. Tartha over here. Mesopotamia. Asia, there's Pontus, the public order here is good, okay. game fields, I think we're just going to leave that for the moment, just to keep that going, Almeria is good, probably do with a not another shot of food. Just gonna house the squalor here. Squalor's good. Yeah, I think if we punch that up, that will keep the food process growing. Iconia. Now Iconia is starting to fall back into a defensive area, so I think we're now gonna change you to a trade settlement. And before we do the we end turn, you, my lord. I... are you ready to serve? Actually, disperse these up and get rid of you. And I'm just going to get another one of these. And we can go for an end turn. Okay. Consequential diverse penalty for in trading. Thank you, game. Sharp returned home. Hidden agent exposed. Child is born. Increase in rank. Right, we've got motivated population in Galicia and Cappadocia. Thank you, game. Right, Pokemon has actually pulled back, but you're not going to be able to get there, are you? So, I think what we're going to do is push you this way. And... You have further orders? Bring you up. Ready for oh. battle. No, you really need to refurbish. Ready for you're ready battle. to go, so you come up behind. Advance. You Fight fall back to here. Move, And where's the 
this army here. This is why I need to bring Sham back on the map. Place. Oh, where is it? You look like the faction leader. Aram, um, that's Sham there. But hire you back in over here. We fight for you, my lord. And you're nice and safely tucked away over there. We can't get. Let's just check the loyalty or politics. Right, the loyalty's back to normal. <laughs> um, for the moment, okay. government type patriot pacifist difficulty level uh, political actions. I don't think we can do anything else now. I mean, we can get you married. No, we still can't get married. We've got a couple of children growing. This army here, we've got a little bit more cash to spend. This army, can we, can we make you a bit better? I mean, the Axemen are pretty good. I mean, they're light on armor. I mean, the Georgian swordsmen are pretty good as well. I mean, they're 8 5 on melee attack. And their armor's... I mean, their armor's not that bad. I don't... Yeah, I think we're going to be okay just for the moment. Let's see. Let's have a look. The public order's increasing across the board. I think we're certainly going to push that up. If we're going to stay here. We might as well keep pushing this up. I don't think we quite need any more food at the moment. We've got two on the go. Right, we've got an expansion here. Although, to be honest, I'd rather wait for this, I think. Because this is there's nothing special. You've got no real special value. I think I'd sooner wait for this one. And then maybe we can get in something like this. Like we need to start working on our libraries and our empire maintenance. So yeah, I think we'll leave that just for the moment. get a little bit more cash out of that uh, with no real consequence Syria is good for things we've got so much food here and we've got okay, what would we get here for oh, free food a bit more growth yeah I think maybe it's time to start taking up some of these year part of Marder. Right, it's gonna go for a, I think I can get in one more end turn before okay. and assign skills. Values. Cultural conversion. Yeah I don't really need cultural conversion. Actually what we got here? What's the cultural conversion at the moment? 14%. I think what we can do is give you the cultural conversion. Oh, we got another one as well. Deal um, maxed out empire maintenance. If we come to construction costs there, and what I'm going to do is just move you across the border and then we can deploy you to start try and drive the cultural conversion there okay. I'm just gonna go for a, an end turn okay, hire a bodyguard assassination plot hire bodyguards you completed ceremonial rites uh, you're back home they okay, will declared I'm not too worried if the, if the Pokemon comes through and takes here. I'm not that worried, to be honest. Now, Pokemon is pulled back. Yeah, we 
can't get to them. I think I've got a new strategy coming up here. Pokemon's there. What's the state of this army? What we're going to do is we're going to come through here. And is that all, my lord? Can't write a patrol. Ready for I want you to come here. On the move, my lord. Uh, nobody can. There's no way Pokemon can get to us this turn. So you can sit here and refurbish. Yeah, you can smack in this way. But I want a new raid. My lord. Yes, you can. Burn or steal. Let's just do a little bit of raiding. I think what we're going to do is push down here with two armies and then what we're going to do is come through with one army to cover that flank. If we can, I mean, Pokemon can't get here quick enough maybe. Let me, let me move you a little bit further forward. Okay, let's... You here, can you still raid? Nope. Oh well, we've lost the raiding, but I think if we can get into the threat focus there. I am treading softly. If we can come in and take Pokemon's capital here and then bring the armies through here, we can effectively squeeze Pokemon here. So I want to take this first before we take that, because we're gonna to have to leave one army here to defend against the uh, roads. I think we're looking good here. We've got a little bit of cash to spend, some research to do. The research we just did is ceremonial rights. I'm going to push for here because I want the Empire maintenance. Plus, it would give us plus four loyalty for political parties, plus two. And I think maybe. What's the political situation? Now? You're still minus eight. Um, you're the Shuni Nara. I mean, I could spend some money to secure loyalty. Let's just look at something. Shuni Nara are here. In I don't think we can get. Can we get any? I don't think we can get an edict here. That's annoying. Because to get the edict, we're going to need some seed. The other Nara. And this other point. Oh. Let's go back up to here. Right, we got tax. Just double check this. I want to make sure I've got it right. You're, you've got that province there. If I sacrifice this for loyalty, it will reduce my amount of income. But what it will, should do is keep these guys in the positive. Then it that means we've got these in the positive, these in the positive, and then all we've got to do is deal with these guys here. I bought an Antiochia. Of course, I've got my little navy down here. Have you actually got any? Ah, no, you haven't. I think maybe we're assembling the fleet. Just give you a little bit of a navy here. But this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. In the next part, we will be trying to push on Pergamon and effectively get control of this area here. And then where we go after that, I don't know. My instinct is the Adrasians. Let's have a quick look. Who are the Adrasians at war with? Rome, Athens. Yeah, we could join war and take this. I mean, that's all I want is Nicomedia. I'm not going to push across here. What I want to do is just literally take this. And then that will give me most of Bithnium. Um, Pontus, then we'll probably come up and get rid of these guys, the Sinope, so that when we have control of this province, and then what we may have to do then is 
turn on our kind of quasi allies here although they're they're okay and then i think once we've got this area solid then we can start thinking about maybe taking out these and pushing east although getting past parthia is going to be wow that's going to be a challenge let me just see if parthia will donate a, another region to us okay oops. We've got one more, so let's send you to Parthia. Parthia is starting to dislike us again. And if you remember the family, let me give you anything that's going to give me Gravitas. Yes, there we are. We'll take that. So, I mean, have a quick look. And you're 20 fixed to your 25 percent well we might get get it all back but this is where i'm gonna leave it until next time whatever you do enjoy your gaming <laughs>